What's going on YouTube? It's United Gamer 101 here and welcome to a full tutorial guide on Royal Sorcerer Navlin. This is a little complex, more than any other NPC has been in this game, but let's go ahead and get started with it. He is imprisoned in all these keep for assassinations. Now there are four different routes you can take when going with this guy. Number one, if you talk to him while he's captive and you're hollowed, meaning you're dead, he will set you on a four assassination quest, which is what that we're going to be doing today. Number two, if you free him while you're hollowed, he will start invading you in specific worlds. If you're alive and you talk to him while he's captive, he will tell you just to leave him alone and go away. And if you free him while he's alive, you will have access to his shop. Well, you're nicely hollowed, aren't you? Are you tormented by memories? Burdened by guilt? Now the question. Are you ready for more? If you are, then we ought to talk. This, this contains my power. Long ago, this naive vessel of mine set about devising new spells. The fool dreamt of bringing new forms of magic into the world. But instead, he created me. Mostly by chance, but he did a fine job, I must say. What he sought was strength, and so I decided to demonstrate. While my vessel slept, I'd find my mark and hunt him down. And so while I slept, he sealed the both of us away. Now I don't have anything against humans, but how is it that you go about defining good and evil? I'm only using what the gods gave me. How can that be so wrong? So what say you to a spot of murder on my behalf? If you don't, I'll leave this place and take more lives. Many more. I couldn't give a fig either way, so... What's your choice? Now selecting yes will start his assassination quest line for you to assassinate four different NPCs. But there are ways to do that without assassinating them and I will show you exactly how. Now, if you just want to go to his wares, you can free him alive and talk to him that way. Lastly, if you're just going for his chaos armor, you can free him, kill him, and then buy his armor later from the merchant in the forest of fallen giants. But we're going to go ahead and do his assassination quest line because we get a lot of good items when doing that, and we don't have to kill the NPCs. Yes, I see how very kind of you. I want you to kill a merchant named Gilligan. A greedy, foul man. He won't be missed, I assure you. Yes, bring me a ladder miniature as proof. Is the only person who'd have such an odd knickknack. <laughs> So our first target is Gilligan from Earthen Peak, the Laddersmith. So since he's all the way back in Majula, you want to go ahead, head over to the gigantic circle pit, and then you want to buy that miniature ladder from his inventory. I believe it's about 8,000 souls, so nothing too much. Either that, you can kill him, this is just a guide on how to do it without getting or killing any NPCs. So go ahead, go over to here, 8,000, and there we go. Now, after buying that, we need to go back and talk to the sorcerer. <laughs> Fine work. This is my thanks. Take it. Now, let's discuss our next mark. I want you to kill one more. Your target will be Kale, the man who's drafting that map. 
while I was trapped in here. It touched me, that maniac, like I was some rare specimen. He wore a strange helm. Bring it back as proof. Yes, I knew I could count on you. Perhaps this will slake my thirst. So we have our next target, Kale, and now this is one of the biggest reasons why this is kind of complicated. Kale, you will have to basically have already beat the entire game to do this without killing him. He's asking for his helmet, and Kale will give you that if you have done eight major things. Those things consist of defeat the last giant, defeat the lost sinner, defeat the old Iron King, defeat the rotten, defeat the Duke's dear Frasia, obtain the King's Ring, Obtain the Ashen Mist Heart from the Ancient Dragon in the Dragon Shrine and defeat the last boss, Nassandra. So basically you have to beat the entire game. Now technically, yes, you can kill him to get his helmet, but not only is this important for Novelin's quest, you get a silver trophy or achievement for this quest line. Now talk about his dialogue until you get a house key. Now here's a key point. Make sure you keep talking to him after you receive the house key. Wait till he says, perhaps we will meet again back in Majula. That's how you know he's coming back. But before you do that, you will have to clear out the skeletons in his basement of his home, which I have already done that. He wasn't there for me, and I was confused for about 15 minutes, and that is why. So let's go ahead and cut to where we are down at the mansion and talking to him later. As we enter the mansion, we want to go ahead and turn to sharp right and then go left. Down here, you will see fires. Now, you should see eight torches lit on his map this will mean that you are in the right place and you will get his helmet now you want to talk to him oh hello again you've made it the map i presume of course take a good look ah yes there is something i wanted to tell you I was born in the land of Mira. Mira is also the home of an infamous killer, a knight in name alone. He was locked in the dungeon for multiple murders, but shortly before his execution, he managed to escape. And the other day, I saw a fellow with a striking likeness, and then, and then, wait, well, I think he looked rather similar. No, no, it's true. I saw just such a man, I swear. I believe his name was C C uh, Cray something, I believe. They shared some resemblance, I, I think. Even more flames have appeared. I don't know what causes it. It seems that all the flames have been lit. It makes me feel... somehow... Wait. What am I doing here? Who are you again? Fate brought us together for a reason. Take these, and may they help you on your travels. So there we go, we got his full armor including his helmet, and now we just need to go talk back to Navlin. <laughs> Fine work. This is my thanks. Take it. Now let's discuss our next mark. I want you to kill one more. Your target is Felkin the Hexer. 
As proof, bring me that peculiar scepter of his. What do you say? Yes, very good. But he will be formidable. Be cautious. Right outside this castle in Aldi's Keep, there is actually a sunset staff out there, so just go get that and return to him. <laughs> Fine work. This is my thanks. Take it. Now let's discuss something of importance. You could kill a dozen like that and it wouldn't matter. I want you to kill someone of import. I want you to kill the girl in Majula, known as the Muse. They say that she is the last firekeeper. But they say a lot of things. That she's a gentle shepherd, lighting the way for you cursed fools. Nonsense. Once she is dead, I will have no regrets, and I will be content to remain here. The girl will have a peculiar feather. Bring it to me. Now go along. <laughs> The last requested assassination is the Emerald Herald in Majula. Yes, the one who we reinforce our Estus flash shards with, level up, and do many more things. So she is really important in this game. You do not have to kill her at all. If you have done this so far and you have beat the game like you would have to to have not have killed Kale, you have already got the feather from her in the Dragon Shrine. You first see her as you enter that world. So, just go ahead and click talk to him again because you already have that feather. Yes. That's the feather. God. Oh, that is very good. Your reward. Take it. <laughs> What do you require? You've been good to me. Go on, tell me what you need. So that's pretty much it. We now have access to his shop. He doesn't have really too good of wares, but if you wanted that, the main reason I was getting it for was for the NPC armor, and without having to kill anyone is nice. So all you have to do that after browsing through all his wares of his useless magic, even though he's an important sorcerer assassin, go ahead and click the talk option to get his chaos robes. These are for you. Don't mind the specks of blood. So that's pretty much it. You completed all his assassinations without assassinating anyone, you got access to his shop, and you got his full set of armor. I hope you found this guide helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. I'm doing my best to show you how to get every single NPC armor that you can get in the game, along with other spells, boss guys, almost anything you can think of. This has been United Gamer 101, and I'll see you guys later.